Ora bem-vindos a mais um episódio de Starfield. Ora, vamos ver que missão estamos ou estávamos a fazer. So, what's new with you today? It was nice talking to you again. Nada. Bem, vamos lá para Neon. Então, vamos levantar voo já. Acho que é aqui. Smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source is far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Kazambas's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Ara, volta para trás, outra vez.
James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. No if Benjamin Bayou's ego was as combustible as Helium-3, he'd be able to provide enough fuel to power every... I've heard that Benjamin Bayou has a private penthouse at the top of the tower. Hmm, the view from up there must be breathtaking. Stroud Eklund make some of the finest ships in the settled systems. I'd love to get a look at their operations. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bus you in, sir. You know me, Mr. Stroud? You are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, so the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here. Let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Okay, vamos lá, continuar.
Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the Neon that you'd like. Except the spaceport, of course. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, and take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state of the art. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Not currently, I'm... This isn't getting us... A loss leader. I make you pay less now, in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Ah, é o tal que o outro gajo nos deu. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Hope Bye. to see you again. Vamos lá. Investigar. Off control. So. My mother wanted me to be a doctor. Hey there. Never could get the hang of hacking. Uh, I eu? prefer a more direct right. approach myself. Vamos lá ver então uh, o outro objetivo. Ixi. 
shade him by victory. Neplnada. Ver o quê? Welcome, to o Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Sieghart himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I Logo could. Primeira. Okay. Oh. I don't know much, but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset. There's a reason for all your acting needs. Also, you need so e aqui a fazer isto frente a todos acho que a ver se não dá barraca how you're feeling after your experience at the temple you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare
That's distressing, but to be expected, I suppose. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body or your mind? Hmm. I know you're simply trying to brush this off with humor, but you really should act more concerned. That temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. Hmm. Perhaps. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. Oh, believe me, this is positively exhilarating. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there, somewhere? Indeed, a mystery that I'm, well, hopefully both of us, are determined to solve. It's funny. I used to think the artifacts were the end oh, of being the scientific discovery, hey. the pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this, whatever it is, unharmed. I'll take you, Neta. Well, oh, yeah, yes, of course you are. I was speaking of the power you acquired. Uh, this is all scientifically speaking, of course. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to oh, help you every step own. of the way. Rather be doing this than getting mixed up with Mary. Go join me. Set up on the moon on. O que é que há para aqui? Para ali. Security has got its eyes on Sabre and Kadeem. O cara está trouble com o status quo. Things have gotten pretty bad in Epside. Still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I want to ask you how you are doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So. You don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you in every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you, wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Palapa. How are the preparations coming?
the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Vamos lá. Vamos lá para a porrada que isto eu gosto. Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Are they? <laughs> code phrases? Goodness, Walter, I think you're taking this espionage business a little too seriously. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. See, I'm busy drinking. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah. Excuse me. We just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands. And we're not dead. How does that sound? And this'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite, almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in?
What the? Security! As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. We have it. This couldn't have gone better. Well, it's all. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Bye. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? I'm listening. Not happening. You're talking to me. That's it, we're done. One You don't want to pick a fight with me. So you, Stroud, are public relation. Your security here go... So polite. to assume that brief yeah here well one of a kind i have the amount uh-uh now how am i supposed i don't know what the security as you can see all right shall we head home well it's on some high pressure Tactics, but we got what we were after. Fascist. I'm going to go to the other side. Stop right there. Ah, we don't need to do this. Hand over, Mr. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending on men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. We hope you've enjoyed your time in the Astral Lounge. Yeah, yeah. Vamos lá embora daqui para fora. Gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He screws a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with them. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we.
How are you liking that laser gun? Pew pew. <laughs> pew pew. Uh... Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can... I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very... Well, um, maybe we can let you through this once. Maybe I could squeeze you in. Let me see. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. So, I've given everything we've discussed a lot of thought, and I've decided I'd like Aja Mamasa to conduct our marriage ceremony. I knew you'd understand. So, with that settled, I suppose we just keep it a quiet ceremony? Just the two of us? Honestly, no. I respect. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to keep my... All right, it's settled. I'll send a message to Aja, asking for her to preside over the ceremony. As soon as you're ready, Let's head to Paradiso. <laughs> I can't tell you how much this means to me. I love you. Vamos lá falar com o outro gajo. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Yes, sir. Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slaven's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Uh, Ricky? That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Por aqui? Acho que sim.
Bounty. Én a kell ingyen a bounty pa. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter! Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of... Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You'll have to fight your way to the exit. Aqui não dá. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. Direct the keeper for.
por aqui também é por ali será que isto vai dar lá? acho que sim mais porrada para aqui It's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> you have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. I trust that you're not seriously considering having that thief killed. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. You have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same to us. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. A cage is too good for you, Musgrove. They should stick you on an asteroid somewhere and let you think about what you've done. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. Tudinha para a gente ficar é o que é? Nada. Vamos embora. Ok. 
Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. Oh, look at you. Frank Rennix all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it. Bem pessoal, vou ficar por aqui, por aqui hoje, vemos amanhã, deixem o vosso like, subscrevam caso não o tenham feito ainda, muito obrigado e até amanhã.